Welcome into Cooking with Margie. I'm Eric Stafford. This is Margie Mancher, and we are here today with another great recipe. Now, Margie, what do you got cooking today? We are going to put together a power bowl. A power bowl? Now, what's a power bowl? A power bowl <laughs> is what you need for a complete and balanced meal in a bowl. All right. Basically. Sounds good to me. So, Usually they have um, some kind of uh, grain or a starchy vegetable. Okay. We're going to have roasted sweet potatoes for our, our starch. Okay. Then we have a vegetable, any type of vegetable that you want, but we're going to go with some cauliflower for our veg. And then a protein. Okay. And so I've made it with, <laughs> made bowls before with fish, chicken. We're going to do a little vegetarian trick today. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna do chickpeas for our protein. And then typically with a power bowl, you'll top it with, off with some sort of sauce or salsa or a dressing. Okay, all and right. And I'm gonna get you to make our dressing. Mm. So. All right. So I'm, um, I've got some chickpeas already. Um, I've got two cans. This is gonna serve six people. Okay. So two cans. Um, quite a bit of protein in, in chickpeas. A lot of people, the same thing as our garbanzo bean. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people don't realize how much protein uh, beans and peas have. So basically I just, isn't that cool how you can just kind of roll them? Yeah, they just roll. <laughs> so I um, just drained them and rinsed them. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, and then I put them in the oven just for a minute, in a 400 degree oven to get, to kind of dry them. Yeah, dry them out a little. Yeah, and so that's the cool thing. You can, you can always just roll them and you don't even have to have a spatula or anything whenever you want to like get them uh, <laughs> coated and, and uh, cooked all the way around. Okay. So um, for my uh, seasoning, let's see, I think I'll go ahead and First, I'll go ahead and spray that with this non-stick spray, and that's nice because it just coats it yeah, pretty well. Yeah, something for the flavor to hang on to. Yes, and then um, I'm going to have a uh, tablespoon, no, a half, uh, sorry, a half a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, of garlic. <laughs> you can never have too much garlic. <laughs> uh, yeah, that might be true. <laughs> I love garlic. And I'm going to use some curry powder. Oh. Which, and you want to smell that? Yep, that's curry. Mm. And, and curry is basically a combination um, of, of uh, spices. So a quarter teaspoon of the curry powder. And then I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of cumin. Okay. Which, you know, that's used in Indian food and Mexican food and just all kinds of different uh, Middle Eastern food, and a quarter teaspoon of uh, a little salt. A little salt. Okay, so I, I'm just going to uh, kind of combine all that and sprinkle my garbanzo beans and okay. put them back in the oven. Okay. So while I'm doing that, I want you to make the sauce for okay. us. Okay, what are we doing? Well, first thing you might want to do is juice your juice your lemon. Juice your lemon. So, so um, this is going to be a tahini sauce. Okay. And tahini is sesame paste, sesame seed paste. Okay. For those who have never heard of it, yep. um, <laughs> have you heard of it? <laughs> I have heard of it. I think we used it one time before, and I, I looked it up after that. Okay. So I'm so just juicing my lemons. You're gonna, and you can juice those right here. I juice you're gonna, that. you're gonna okay. measure it out. So what oh, okay. we need. Um, we're gonna make um, a half a cup of this tahini sauce. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a little bit more than that um, for our six servings. But we need three tablespoons plus a teaspoon of juice. So you can just kind of maybe measure. You might not need to squeeze all <laughs> those, right? Okay. <laughs> and uh, not do two. So we have kind of the ingredients that you would have if you were making hummus, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I, it reminds me of. Right, because hummus. hummus is made with chickpeas, mm -hmm. uh, sesame seeds, lemon, <laughs> lemon, like you have, and then uh, the garlic, and I put the, I put the garlic in here. Okay. Okay, so I kind of sprinkled that around, 
And let's see, I can just roll it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it coating them good. Yeah, make sure it gets it. I'll just do. Uh oh, well, the one that got away. It ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where it's headed. Went away. Oh, I think that's pretty good mm -hmm. on that. And how much lemon juice am I doing again? Well, let's see. It's uh, three tablespoons plus one teaspoon. And this is a tablespoon. Right. So. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this back. I've got it at a 400 degree oven. Here, I'm um, checking on. I've got my vegetables roasting. See, I've already got these, this nice looking cauliflower. So three and what? Uh, three tablespoons and one teaspoon, which would be one third. Oh, a third of that? One third of a, a tablespoon. Three teaspoons and a tablespoon. All right. So, when you roast the vegetables like this, uh -huh. see how Ooh, they get so nice. Got a nice. big crunchy side on it. Yes, yeah, so it gets. Um, it's called the caramelization. Uh huh. It's what happens. Well, it smells good. Mm -hmm. it does doesn't it? It's one of my favorite ways to cook vegetables, is roasting them because what it does is it brings out those. Uh, natural sugars that that uh, you have yeah. and just kind of like when you sear meat um, it always tastes better right yeah <laughs> so this is looking good I'm just gonna leave that in there for a few more minutes and and that'll be ready cool mm. okay so so you have your lemon okay I got my lemon okay so you need um, three tablespoons of maple syrup oh okay so this is going to contrast your lemon. Right, it's going to kind of balance uh, the flavor. I was checking out the maple syrup. You could probably use honey, uh, but I oh, yeah. like that rich, that rich flavor. And you said three, maple. right? Three. Because I'm getting ready yes. to mess this up. At three tablespoons. You got too excited. Saw so maple syrup. You had me at maple syrup. Now, so this is such a simple sauce. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> it's, it's fine with you, huh? Fine with me. <laughs> we have half a cup of the tahini sauce. Okay, is that what this so, is? So yes, and I've already got that that okay. measured out. You've got a, a spatula there, to, it's kind of to thick. dump it out. Just dump that out. Yep. And let's see. Maybe just I'll measure out just a little little salt to go on that. Dash. Boom. Dash is off. <laughs> now that's going to be pretty thick. Why don't you just go ahead and whip that? Whisk it up. <laughs> Whisk it up. Um, not extremely thick, actually. Well, sometimes tahini sauce, that was not in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. um, typically, I'll refrigerate it after I open it, and that seems to make it really thicken up. <laughs> oh, it's thickening oh, up. Oh, it's now. thickening it up. So, what we'll do, you just add the water mm -hmm. and, until you get it to the consistency that you want. Just a nice sauce consistency. That smells pretty good. It does smell good. You can use a tahini sauce on a number of, of different items. I mean, you could kind of use it as a dressing. Uh, it's really it's really good the, on these power bowls. Yeah, and you can really smell the sesame in, of it. Mm-hmm. So. And you know, like we, toasted sesame. this is um, this is a vegetarian dish, but um, you're going to get some um, protein also from that tahini because yeah. it's from a seed. And so your nuts and seeds and your beans, those are really great vegetarian protein okay, sources. Cool. So I'm just going to check uh, and see how my chickpeas are doing. Oh, so chickpeas. see, they just they just keep roasting. Yeah. Get a little suntan. Yes. So the thing is, you can roast these for a really long time and they become crunchy. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, they take, I've never really burnt them. Oh, I mean, okay. you know, we forget about them. I guess eventually they would burn, but yeah. it's interesting. They take a while. Uh, they can handle a lot of roasting. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now I've got my sweet potatoes roasted, my cauliflower roasted. So to assemble our bowl, we're going to, We'll start here. 
Okay. This is sweet potato. I mean, you can make it any size you want, right? Depends on how hungry you are. Yeah. And then we'll go with our cauliflower. I think that's a nice combination. That is a nice combination, and they both look so good roasted. They really do. Now I'm going to check on the, the chickpeas. The chickpeas. <laughs> They're probably, yes, they've browned up a little bit. Okay. So those, those look nice. So that's our topping. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one's getting away too. Yeah, they always run. <laughs> they do. That's the problem. How hot is he? <laughs> Ooh, careful, careful. Okay, and this this uh, sauce really looks great. So, well, you just however much sauce you want, you're gonna drizzle that on there. All right. Oh, that. Not good. Not bad. So here we have our Power Bowl. Yeah. A complete and oh. nutritious <laughs> meal. Well, thank you. Or snack. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it looks good. So, I don't know about the sauce. That guy looks shady. <laughs> I think oh, yeah. that sauce really adds, it adds a lot to it because it um, really does. I just used a little bit of salt on the vegetables. Um, that was it. Yeah. So. And uh, knowing that that sauce was going to shine and, and uh, give that a really good flavor, along with the caramelization of the roasting. This is a good post-workout meal because you got a lot of protein and veg and stuff. Yes, and it will definitely uh, give you some fuel and uh, really, really super good for you and tasty. So Very that's what, tasty. That is what we're after. So, so. You, get, you get a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me and, and making this Power Bowl. Thank and, you for uh, feeding me. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, anytime. <laughs> and uh, I sure hope that you try the recipe and enjoy.